Ladies and gentlemen, I have seen the light. The encounters and experiences I've met through this game have fundamentally changed who I am. I am no longer a talking sock. I am now a walking sock. Walking sock, huh? So, uh, where are your feet? How are you gonna walk? What? No, no, not walking, like walking, running, not like walking. Walk is where it says walk. King and king even, because he collects gold. Kings collect gold. Some. Just forget it. WarioWare Get It Together is an absolute gem. The level of chaos, frantically paced challenges, bizarre gut-busting sounds and visuals, and mechanically simple yet deceptively deep characters make this game an absolute blast to play. On the evening the game launched, I got my brothers and sisters together to try out all the multiplayer modes in the variety pack. And there wasn't a single stinker among them. Every game was thoroughly enjoyable and brought about much joy, laughter, and screams of befuddlement. That being said, on the day the game launched, that was the evening, this is the day, I played the story mode from start to finish all by myself, and it took roughly 1 hour and 45 minutes. So I guess that means you can't really recommend this game to people who only play single player games, huh? Well, not necessarily, Fingy. I primarily play games single player, and most of the time I just play multiplayer games on my own. So WarioWare has online play, huh? Well, not necessarily, Fingy. There's a dedicated challenge mode that has online rankings, but there's no way to play the main game or its multiplayer side modes with players online. Okay, so that means what I said before about not recommending the game to solo players is accurate, huh? Well, not necessarily, Fingy. <laughs> Listen, the world is basically a big, beautiful ball bursting with a bounty of beings whose behaviorisms bring about, uh, 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 bifferent opinions. So not everyone's taste in games will align in the exact same way. And that's not just to say, I like this genre, you like that genre. These bifferent opinions can get meticulously nuanced. It can even go so far as, I like this exact game for these reasons, and you like this exact game for different reasons. You might figure or find in the long run that you just can't justify spending $50 on WarioWare Get It Together if you're only in it for the single player. But for me, this game single player is absolutely worth the asking price. And I'm still thoroughly enjoying it and predict I will continue to enjoy it for quite some time. Because while it probably won't take most people more than two hours or so to finish the story mode, there will more than likely be microgames or higher levels of the same microgames that you wouldn't have encountered during your initial playthrough. And when you revisit levels in the story mode to unlock said microgames, you'll find that all the level's pacings will have changed from 15 to 20 stages with an option to buy continues if you run out of lives, to an endless, keep playing till you run out of lives deal, like how the free demo is structured. And it should go without saying, you should try that before you buy this. For someone like me, endlessly playing the microgames until I run out of lives is kind of all I need. I love setting and beating high scores. But I understand that's not enough for every player out there. Luckily for other players out there, and me, because the more content the merrier, WarioWare Get It Together also includes the aforementioned online ranked challenge mode, Wario Cup, whereby a very particular challenge is set and players are tasked with getting as many points as they can, or at least enough to receive some decent rewards. What rewards? What is the point of them? I'm glad you asked! The rewards you receive in most modes, including story, are in-game gold and occasionally items called prezzies. In-game gold? What is the point of that? I'm glad you asked! Gold is spent at the Emporium on those prezzies I mentioned earlier, which are cycled in and out of a little shop of sorts, and are also available in gacha capsules that come out of chicken-shaped machines. What are prezzies for? What is the point of them? I'm not even a sock! I am a man! I am a man! Prezzies are essentially XP for all the game's characters, your crew as they're called. It's my understanding that leveling them up can improve your rewards when using them in Wario Cup or something, but that aspect just feeds back into the reward system. The real appeal of leveling your characters up is unlocking color swaps, skins, voice packs, and artwork for each character. This Prezi system is a pretty darn clever one if you ask me, especially in how it appeals to the player's passion for the posse of playable pals they party with in perpetuity. If you agitate me with awkward attempts at asserting alliteration any longer, I am going to scream. You know, when you use vowels instead of consonants like that, it's called assonance. Vowels are virtually far vaster in vocal than- The reason I find Prezi so clever is because they're essentially XP fodder, but with a character personality-centric gimmick. Like, they didn't have to make them an eclectic array of assorted items, but they chose specifically to do that because each of the Prezi's have a specific level of appeal that varies from character to character. Wario would love a catalog of mustaches, but 5-Volt wouldn't. 
Ashley would love a spider web, but Mona wouldn't. It all plays into getting to know the characters better. And with how lovable this crew is just on the surface, how could you not want to get to know them better? Hey Nintendo, do you think you could maybe, uh, do something like that for, oh, I don't know, a sequel to ARMS, maybe? Seriously, though? Please? I want to feed Max Brass an entire honey-baked ham and give Helix a skin that makes him look like a pizza. Mama f me. <laughs> <laughs> but the Prezi system isn't even as far as the replay incentive goes for this game. Because there are also missions to complete, which act as this game's version of achievements. Unlock all the micro games, level every character up to 15, clear all the names off the staff credits, you know, stuff like that. I myself don't really care much for most instances of achievements in games. But when I find a game so fun that I actively want to play more, having goals to work toward is always appreciated. All of these modes and systems I've brought up in this video make WarioWare get it together an unquestionably worthwhile amount of content for the price, in my very humble opinion. But with that said, yeah, it's kinda ridiculous that the game doesn't have any online multiplayer, like, at all. Not even an extremely limited mode that's not great but better than nothing, I it's actually just nothing. I mean, you can't rule out the possibility of Nintendo rolling out online play in an update like they did with Super Mario Party. Three years too late! But even still, we pay a yearly fee just to have the ability to play Switch games online. Every multiplayer game that doesn't offer online play is another hit to this horrible service. But hey, at least it's cheap, right? Speaking of updates, I've noticed that the story mode features a good handful of characters that aren't playable, like Joe the Dog, 13 Volt, and Leon. And past Nintendo games like Mario Tennis Aces, Kirby Star Allies, even my beloved ARMS and your beloved Smash Ultimate, have this habit of offering more playable characters as post-launch DLC, when more single-player offerings are really what those games could have used to help bolster the generally perceived value of the overall package. So I don't know whether or not WarioWare Get It Together will ever get post-launch DLC, but I have this gut feeling that if it does, it'll be content that it doesn't really need. But I've said it once, I'll say it a million times, you don't judge a game based on what it doesn't have. You judge it based on what it does have. And WarioWare Get It Together has plenty, and all of it is enjoyable. And I haven't even mentioned how artistically brilliant this game is. So many different styles, and they're all so charming. Some artistically brilliant instances are blank and you miss it, yet there's still so much love in every detail. Little details like how this waiting room border glows when your character leans up against it. Or all the brief yet specific music and sound cues. Or how many variations exist in single micro games. Of which there are more than 200 and each of them can be played by over 15 distinctly controlled characters. Gosh, there is so much apparent TLC put in this game and I love to see it. In an industry where most AAA studios race to the bottom, overworking and even sometimes abusing their staffs just to provide derivative gameplay experiences hinged on ultra-realism and cinematic progression, it's so nice to get a game centered on arcadey fun with an intentionally wacky identity seldom seen by its competitors that comes from a company famous for ensuring a good quality of life to work ratio for its employees. WarioWare Get It Together may not offer enough content for everyone, but it 100% offers enough for me. And hopefully listening to what I've had to say here in this video has helped you decide whether or not it offers enough for you too. So to give a definitive, straightforward answer to the very direct question I posed in the title of this video, is WarioWare Get It Together worth it for the single player? It depends. In my personal opinion, it is. But I recognize that my economic status and individual view of value in video games is not universal. So the best I can do is cover what the game has to offer, and those looking for an answer that applies specifically to them should listen to what I have to say and arrive at their own conclusions based on the information I provide. Which may or may not be a yes or a no, and maybe whatever their conclusion is could be swayed if one or two particular aspects were slightly different, like the price or variety of modes and options. Yep. That's my very straightforward answer. I address the question directly, so you can't accuse me of clickbaiting. Well, I for one am happy for you, but I personally can't justify spending the money on it. Hey, that's perfectly valid. I've done quite a bit of talking about how bountiful and unique our opinions are. So please share yours in the comment section below. Just because I'm the guy who made the video doesn't mean that my opinions are any more valid than yours. Shout them out, be proud, have a discussion, and help potentially boost this video's chances of getting picked up by YouTube's algorithm. Thank you for watching. Now, if you'll excuse me, YouTube stinks. I'm going to play my game, WarioWare Get It Together. Have a rotten day! <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more like it. Sharing this video or my channel in general on social media also helps me out a bunch. 
But if you'd really like to support me in more ways than YouTube ever will, consider supporting me on patreon.com forward slash a talking sock, where for as little as $1 a month, you get behind the scenes updates and a credit at the end of my videos. Thank you once again for watching, and I will see you the next time I see you.